Hello again and welcome to the 13th episode of Simply Electronics Basics. Today, we're going to have a look at what the differences are when you connect resistors in parallel versus connecting them in series. So, first, let's look at the circuit where the resistors are connected in series. You can tell that the resistors are connected in series because there is only one path for the electrons to flow through. The electrons are flowing from the ohmmeter going through the first resistor and then along the same path through the second resistor until the electrons come back to the ohmmeter. The resistors in this series circuit are set to 1 kilo ohm or 1000 ohms. In this case, because the resistors are connected in series, the total resistance of the circuit is simply the sum of the value of all resistors in the circuit. So, I have two resistors, both of the resistors are set to 1 kilo ohm. Therefore, the ohmmeter above is measuring the resistance of 2 kilo ohms because the resistance is equal to 1 kilo ohm plus 1 kilo ohm, giving us 2 kilo ohms. When you connect resistors in parallel, something different happens. Instead of having just one path for the electrons to flow through, you can see here there are two paths. You can see the electrons are coming from the ohmmeter, some of them are going through resistor 1, but some of them are also going through resistor 2 until the electrons all flow back to the ohmmeter. For this reason, the resistance in the circuit is different. I've got resistor 1 and resistor 2 set to 1 kilo ohm, but now the ohmmeter measures 500 ohms. This is simply because when we connect resistors in parallel, you are essentially dividing the resistance between the two resistors. As both resistors are set to 1 kilo ohm and there are two resistors, the total sum of resistance in this circuit is 500 ohms. There is a very simple equation you can use to find out the total resistance when using resistors in parallel. The equation goes like this. The total resistance in this case is equal to 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, which gives us an answer of 500 ohms. As you can see, I've added an extra resistor, so there are now three resistors connected in parallel. The additional resistor, resistor 3, is set to 2 kilo ohms. Maybe you can give yourself a challenge and pause this video to see if you can work out the total resistance of this circuit. Otherwise, let's continue. Let's use the equation again to work out the total resistance of this circuit. Because of the extra resistor, the equation is now this. The total resistance in a circuit is equal to 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. This will give us a total resistance of 400 ohms. Let's play the circuit and see if we're right. And there you go, the ohmmeter is measuring 400 ohms just like we worked out. If you want to experiment with this virtual circuit yourself, you can click the link in the description and experiment with this live circuit. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below and subscribe for more.